<laughs> Welcome to the Hamilton Collection. So first things first, we are loading the Countach up in the trailer. We're bringing it down to Columbus, Ohio, where the new car that Steve just purchased is located. Um, it's gonna be sick. I can't wait to create contact with this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. To get to the Countach, we have to move the P1 out, my favorite car in the collection. Natalie, would you? I'll just leave Natalie. Oh. <laughs> oh, keep that in there. That's yeah, her name. I'll move it. We're in America. Give me her name's Natalie here. <laughs> Tommy loaded up the Countach in the trailer. We're getting ready to take that to Ohio. And we decided we're gonna take the Resvani too. I was able to put in about 50 miles on it um, over the last like 12 hours. In the delivery video, you know, there was a lot said about Resvani and frankly, it's it's true, but you know what? This thing, this thing is really bad. It's like, I I am loving every bit of this. It has, it has a few issues, but overall, way more fun than I actually expected. We're gonna take it out. We'll give, we'll give a little better recap after we're able to put some miles on it. But off we go. Here's Thomas. Hey, you on brand, bro? We're going always. Natalia? Always. Natalia, you Natalia's on brand? Natalia's never on brand. <laughs> Whoa, oh, for the first time in like three months. Did you get new weed sacks? <laughs> That's the chat. This is the content. You guys want to watch, really? Tommy, Wait, why aren't you on brand? Why aren't you on brand? Why are you on brand? Bro. Come on, bro. Bro. Uh, oh, funny. That's cool. That's THC. That's cool. That's cool. That's THC, bro. That's THC, girl. He's a big weed guy. Big weed. Look at him. It looks like a stoner. We should stone Natalia. Um. <laughs> We're in Greenfield, Indiana. I had a fan show up uh, to greet us here at a Waffle House because I freaking love Waffle Houses. I made sure that we were able to detour off to a Waffle House along the way. Detour. We're going to go get me an all Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Gas wise, oh my gosh. I think we have filled this thing up roughly. I mean, if you count my first fill, this is three fills now along the way. Um. <laughs> I literally said it. I literally said it. Tommy always says things louder and gets credit for it, bro. Oh man, too bad she doesn't speak up. <laughs> we call that a slow day at the Hamilton house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. We just had an amazing dinner. Uh, we're gonna open up the trailer. We have a couple uh, followers here to hang out. So we're gonna check out the Kuntash. I'll go through the door and... Wait, are you taking it out? <laughs> it's an 87. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan Belfort walks out. He's like, I'm better. freezing. <laughs> yeah, we're dropping off down in Columbus tomorrow. Steve bought a uh, um, that we're picking up that we're gonna use for some off-road content this winter. I just want to thank all of you for coming out tonight, and I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you. <laughs> you should work at Six Flags. <laughs> I should. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Please right, don't going. kill this motor coming out of here. This thing sounded. That, yep, that that's good. new. Uh, no, that sounds Indiana like an exhaust gas. leak. That sounds like a small exhaust leak. Was, did that happen when you were driving with them? I don't know. I was beating the <laughs> We just met up with a couple followers at Waffle House and Steve took them on a brief two mile ride of the 200 miles we've driven so far and already broke the car. There's got to be some, ex you said it's an exhaust leak? I mean. definitely something leaking. That's so. not, that's not normal. This is why he has me. So I have to fix this crap. Tommy, I can't Tommy? believe he did that. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe. I just want to let you know that Tommy's um, under... Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing, man. You figure it out, Tommy. Oh we my can. god. That was your own fault, man. <laughs> oh, we just gotta go on without him. We gotta go on without him, bro. Bye, buddy. The whole car's bulletproof. What are you guys doing? Some <laughs> Russian mafia. I mean, are you guys from Russia? I'm Polish. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Is it classified as a G? The company that makes it uh, is called Resvani. They have a few different cars and trucks. Um, this is their like biggest, baddest model. I mean, is this like... <laughs> <laughs> Same. I mean, yeah, I would see the purpose of it, but I don't... 
see the purpose of it. It just is kind of like an FU car. Like you just can just drive through walls and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I mean it's I wow. Can I get in? Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. And all this is factory too. This is bone stock from Resvani. I'm about to Google this. <laughs> Isn't this strange? I'm just holding you back up so you don't fall and kill yourself. All right, I got you. I mean, I you got insurance? You, I you get <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I gotta know, what's the, what's the gas mileage on it? We're getting about <laughs> five and a half to six miles a gallon right now. This is like the fourth or fifth time we filled up. I like it. So we ran out of gas and we pulled into this gas station just off the highway. Um, I decided to do donuts on the way in. And like halfway through my donuts, Tommy's like, oh, there's a cop right there. I'm like, oh, crap. So I proceed into the, the gas pump. And then he pulls right behind us, turns his lights on. I don't even have a license plate on this thing. I thought that we were in a bunch of trouble. But it turns out this guy is a really cool dude. Um, he just, he came right up to us. He wanted to check out the vehicle, wanted some information on it about us, what we were doing. And uh, and then he like turned his lights on, his sirens, and he fake arrested Tommy for us. So <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't get much better than that. Props to the Ohio uh -huh. Sheriff's Deputy Department. Um, just a really cool laid back dude and and we appreciate you sir thank you for your service we made it to columbus it started snowing really bad over the last half hour so i tried to keep it under 80. <laughs> i got arrested <laughs> i got arrested yeah, we made it tommy got arrested but he made it here uh, he bribed the cop with a with a happy ending that's a real place we're just we're just waiting on jeff to get here with the countash i didn't feel like waiting for him any longer i just wanted to get here and check <laughs> we in. left him in the, <laughs> the blizzard he's literally volunteering his time and his truck and we're like nah we're not gonna wait for you bro tomorrow we're dropping off the countash we are super tired so we will see you in the morning breaking news we have a lot of merch, and we would like for you guys to buy it. Please so, buy it for the children. If you want to look swole and you're a large, buy a small. All right? I can't breathe. And if you're small and want to look large, buy a kids. <laughs> yes, all right? Remember, all profits to charity, so we pocket none of this money. It all goes to a good cause, and we have lots of awesome merch, including this hat that I just took off my head. Bada boom. And again, What's up, girl? <laughs> Quick note, Henry's hourly. If you don't buy merch, you're putting him out of work. I'm hungry, I need to, I need to eat. Steve doesn't pay me. <laughs> Not unless you buy merch. Do it, just kidding, we don't make any money from that. But it doesn't, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you guys. Uh, keep enjoying the video, we are all done. Go buy some merch, see you later. Thank you. <laughs> it is the next morning, take it over Tommy. You look like you are a dragon today. I'm not dragon. It is the next morning, take it over Steve. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna head to to drop off the Countach, my beloved Countach. Um, it's just a few minutes away from here, so we will catch up again then. We are here at Evans Automotive. This is a world-renowned Lamborghini and really just hyper exotic car repair shop. We are not selling the Countach though. Don't worry about it. I absolutely love my Countach. I would never let that thing go. Back to you, Tommy, at the house. He's gonna give a little bit more of an explanation on that. So obviously we're not selling the car. Uh, the Countach is one of Steve's favorite in the collection. Uh, as you know, we have a retro logo and the car super retro and, and Steve adores that car. So um, we're actually bringing it back down to Evans Automotive in Columbus, Ohio. The car spent most of last winter there getting the engine and the transmission rebuilt. Um, there's a few things they didn't have time to get to. So it's going back there while we're not driving it for the winter. George's not in this morning, so you guys get to hang out with me. Bunch. Question so, for you. Yes. Our Resvani, they drove it about 99% of the way. I took the Resvani for about one mile and I broke it. <laughs> it has an exhaust leak. Okay. We're stuck. We have to drive that thing another probably seven, eight hours. Are you? It's. I think it's just a clamp by where the manifold meets. No problem. Would you guys be able to take a look at yeah, that? No problem. Yeah, like while are. we're here, or, is, yeah, or are you guys? I get in right now. That'd be effing amazing. Right As Steve mentioned, this place is renowned for working on insane cars. Right here, there's actually an LM, a Lamborghini LM002. They call it like nicknamed the Lambo Rambo. Dude, it's nicknamed the Lambo. Oh my god. It's nicknamed the Rambo Lambo because it's this giant truck they made. I think in the 80s. Um, there's only a hundred and something of them in the world, but they're pretty crazy. They have some other crazy stuff here. Uh, I've seen F40s, Lamborghini Miras. Diablos. Um, I know that last time we were here, they had the original Countach that was in Wolf of Wall Street, so it was cool seeing that side by side of Steve's. Pretty much the best in the world when it comes to old Lamborghinis and old Ferraris. Hey, Tommy, we're done if you want to take credit now. I just uh, finished up unstrapping the Countach by myself, and uh, we're going to go bring it into Evans and get it worked out. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh. So a couple of fun facts about the Mira. They actually installed the engine sideways. Um, I think it was for weight balance or um, power, power output or something silly like that. Is it also true that before these cars hit top speed, the front end would come off the ground? The front end gets light at high speeds on this. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, we've been walking around here. There's a bunch of Diablos, some Mercies, and I am, I'm a sucker for old retro cars. I really love the Diablo, and I think I would like to get one of those, but the, other, the rest of the crew is pushing me into a Mercy. Why don't you guys tell me, what do you think I should get next? Specifically, this thing's for sale. Sorry. Huh? This is, it has to be a six-speed Mercy. Specifically a six-speed. I don't know, man. This one's kind of sick. It's automatic. This no, is, no, like, no, no, no. yes, six-speed would be better, but like... It has to be six-speed. I'm working on one for you. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Doing my job. Let's go. You've driven a six-speed Mercy and a six-speed Diablo. If you were to pick one of them and you already owned a Countach, what do you think you'd get? I've got Diablo. I prefer the Diablo. All right. It hurts. There it goes. There it goes. He said Diablo. He said Diablo. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> Let's do both. All right. I mean. Sorry. All right. <laughs> He's like, okay. Mark, mark my words. In two years. <laughs> I'm almost certain. He said in two years, by the end of this year. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he's said sure on the end months. of 2020, 2021, right? Yeah, no, and then it came in March. It's like, dude, with like three more hypers after. <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually seeing the motor. I'm slightly, I mean, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. I just thought it would be more badass looking at it. <laughs> so, I have to say, from the pictures that I've seen of other Resvanis, though, yes. the electronics look a lot more controlled. Usually it's like a giant glob of electronics, yes. like spaghetti on top of the battery. I mean, it still so looks like a giant glob. You're right, it's not. <laughs> it still looks but, like a giant but glob. It's better it's than better. what I was expecting for this. Fair enough. Yes! yes. Minutes. That this is why we travel six, seven hours to bring a car to be serviced here. What do you guys think about the quality of uh, everything else? Seems uh, it's hard to tell just by looking underneath it, but. Well, we tightened up the other side. They was loose too. The pipe, oh, jeez. Oh no. Hopefully, nothing else comes loose on our way home. <laughs> he took some pictures of some wires and stuff. When that thing was loose, there's wires right by the starter, and the heat from the manifold was leaking, melted them wires down. Oh so, no, the starter wires? Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, you burnt through some of those wires from yes. the exhaust leaks. So. Like, yeah. like they need to be replaced now, or we'll probably be okay. Well, okay. Do it when you guys get home. All right, cool. Good deal. We are here to pick up the new car at uh, Auto Asset here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Steve is picking up a Porsche. We're super excited to get it. We've been trying to get him to buy it for a while now. <laughs> we have, we have. And um, let's go get it. This, this is another one of those cars where they're like, you should get this, you should get this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And then three months later, boom, here it is, y'all. So Steve is notoriously known for buying cars when he's on vacation. Yeah, that's crazy, that's ours. <laughs> Damn. Bring a trailer. <laughs> we got it from Bring a Trailer. Look what we did. This is neat. It's, this is super it's cool, clean. right? Surprise, surprisingly clean. What do you think of the color? Because Tommy was giving you crap for it being brown. We need a brown car in the collection. <laughs> it's, I mean, it happened to be a safari that, that he was pushing, he was pushing the hardest for it. We don't have a brown car in the collection. This thing is probably the cleanest example that I've seen. So Tommy can go himself, <laughs> right? I love the brown. It looks so good. It's awesome, man. I mean, it's a 1980s car. They did all kinds of brown color, gold, brown. That that was, that's what they did in the 80s. Did you give me credit for this buy? No. <laughs> we did. Money, Only good things have been my said about money. Tommy in the that's last few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is super clean. Like the the yeah, dash is so I love that. Steve. They, this is really yeah, spacious right. too, Tommy. The pictures that were that were on Bring a Trailer looked like they were taken in the rain with a lower quality camera, so like I, I knew that that this thing would look a lot cooler in person and it does. I think it looks really neat and it's eighties, so I love it. Hi Dan. Nice to meet you. To meet you. This thing's clean, I like it. Yeah, it's a nice car. Is the engine broken in? Yeah, I mean, right it's now. broken in. Okay. Um, but like enough kind of to beat on it? It's your car. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these were going for around that, but this one had, it seemed to have more extensive, like, I mean, history. It's really cool. Well, clean. there was like one guy that was asking questions about, well, you mean that you mean this engine has two hundred thousand miles on it? Yes, and no, it does not. Well, it it does technically, but it's yes. brand new. It's yes, fresh. Exactly. Five hundred exactly. miles of break in. Yeah. Other than that, so it's like a yeah. brand new car, brand new suspension, yeah, brand new gearbox, brand new engine. Yep. 
We're gonna drive the heck out of this thing. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna put it to the test. <laughs> In 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> This thing's pretty cool. I've been wanting to see one of these in the collection for a while now. I'm, I am super happy it, it finally came to fruition. This thing, I like the brown too. The brown's really tasteful. Very nice. I think we'll have to add some stuff. I want like a brush guard in the front, a tire on top. Um, I might like switch up the back lights. I don't know how I feel about the two like dots on the back tail light. Um, but we're gonna have fun with this thing. To be clear, this car was bought like all my other ones, sight unseen. It's a learning experience getting used to all of these. Let's buckle up for safety. I mean, my initial thoughts is, um, Engine's running really smoothly, running great. It shifts through all the gears, super nice. Um, very well built machine, very clean, and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, I mean, I'm literally driving this in a snowstorm right now, and it's it's doing a great job. So I'm excited, excited to add this to the collection. So we will do a more in depth review on the Porsche 911 Safari when we're able to drive a little bit more. Side note, we're actually taking this to Triple F. We're out in Columbus, Ohio, and they're like 15 minutes from here, so. We connected with Brett over there and they're uh, kind enough and gracious enough to have us over there. So we're going to get some awesome off-roading in with this there. And next week's video will be all of the shenanigans that we do over at Triple F with those guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, please. We thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. I'm going to do a backflip. I mean, you can't let Triple F out crazy you, right? <laughs> right? Is that right? You That's can't right. Out That's pressure right. At all. Let's no do pressure it. at all. <laughs> You broke it. All right, guys, isn't this crazy? It's a sculpture of a human shaped in a skull. Wild. <laughs>